I was in the private sector for 14 years. I'm a reservist in the Army. I work in the intelligence field there as well. I met the client through military orders and fell in love with the mission. Um, when my active duty orders ended, they then offered me a job. So I left that career to work for that client because I really truly believe in the work that we do for them. In the Marine Corps, I went from infantry to intel, and that brought me over to GIT's intel sector. I switched roles from being an intel analyst to more of a uh, software developer, uh, solutions architect. What I do now is not only just a hobby, but it's also a passion, so it really makes it easy to, to go into work and, and do what I do. When I first came to General Dynamics, I actually supported our international division. And when 9-11 happened, um, my college roommate and one of my best friends was killed that day. I had the opportunity to join the intelligence group. I really, really wanted to be a part of the solution, and I really felt that the war on terror would be fought through intelligence more so than on the battlefield. I'm such a tiny part of the big picture, um, but I'm not not doing something. I didn't single-handedly save the world yet, but I'm gonna keep on trying. We are making things happen with artificial intelligence and network automations, and, and we're, we're doing really big things um, in the industry. Our client, they needed their data sets in a certain projection, and the software that we were using wasn't providing it. So I did some research, found a company that was able to develop the projection and, and the data that we needed. I brought that to our business development folks and they figured out a way to acquire that software for us. Um, and that allowed us to provide the solution to the customer in a, in a more rapid fashion. It allowed us to move on to other critical elements of what we're trying to develop. It's awesome knowing that you are behind the scenes making that happen. 